We're back with another BIOS update, and I know I do a lot of these, but I think they are very important to know how to do. And it's not that I try to do them different ways every time. I've got one that explains how to do it without a CPU, which is the BIOS flash. Uh, it's very simple without a CPU, RAM, um, or any kind of storage installed. You just need basically the uh, thumb drive, which has got the BIOS on it, and a power supply, and the motherboard, and that's it. And you can update a BIOS. But traditionally, I do it the traditional way, and which is basically just going into the BIOS and actually um, uh, updating it that way. I don't do it through the internet. I, I've never done it that way. I don't trust it, and I do not do it um, through any kind of software. So Asus makes like uh, AI software, that AI suite that you can do it through. I won't do it. Um, I'm not even gonna demonstrate it because it is very easy to brick your motherboard uh, doing it those ways, regardless of how many times or if somebody comments on here saying, oh, I've done it, that's the way I always do it. I've never had a problem. Well, good for you. Um, I don't care. I'm not going to do it that way. I don't trust software. I trust hardware and I have <coughs> a battery backup and a PSU for power outages. So um, that's the way I'm going to do it and that's the way I'm going to continue to do it. I will do it BIOS flashback if I have to, um, but I will not do it any other way. Those are the only two ways I'm going to do it. I mean, maybe one time I'll try it with a motherboard that I don't care about doing it not through software, but I'll do it through the internet. Um, sometimes that works, but anyway, I digress a little bit. I know I was kind of go off on a tangent there about what I won't do, but I want to keep driving how to do BIOS updates so long that my computers need a BIOS update. Now I did just do one to my uh, main PC or the maker is what I call it. Um, that was probably going to be the last BIOS update that that ever gets because that's a 10th generation. So it's a Z490 chipset. And uh, I just got one about a month ago and I went ahead and did it. I didn't make a video on that. It's a little bit older. This one's still pretty new. This one uh, is one of the last ones we just did. Uh, we saw how to do a BIOS update. I'm going to do it again. Maybe there's just something small that I missed or that you missed and see if we can uh, establish that. Now, uh, actually let's stop right there. So if you want to, uh, continue watching this and learn how to do a BIOS update, uh, that was kind of a weird transition or this is going to be a weird transition, but Hey, whatever. Um, uh, stick around, right? If you want to see how to do this. So one of the first things that you are going to need to do is you're going to have to go to the manufacturer's website. In this case, this is Asus. So in your little Google search there, type in Asus, then you're gonna need the model of your motherboard. So whatever motherboard you have. Now in this particular one, this is a 12th gen uh, build that I have right here. This is uh, my She-Hulk build is what I call it. I got a little She-Hulk there. And so you go on Google, you type in Asus. This is the, the model of this motherboard is a Z490, or excuse me, a Z690. That's the chipset. And this is the Maximus formula, or it's the Asus Maximus Z690 uh, formula. It's one of those uh, two scenarios. So you type that in, hit enter, one of your first, if not your first one, now you gotta know if your motherboard has different revisions, like they made a revision one or re revision two. That's pretty easy to tell, <coughs> excuse me, with the coughing, but it's pretty easy to tell if uh, once you go to the actual website, it'll have a little thing next to it that says uh, revision. But I'm gonna demonstrate right here and show you. Um, Asus. 
Now I see I have up there, I have the 690. Uh, so it's the Rogue Maximus Z690 formula, but all I did was type in Asus Z690 Maximus formula. And my first option brings me to... Oh, good Lord, I've got to get a better solution for that. I haven't... <laughs> that startled me a little bit. All right, so let's continue here. And I can tell that this is my motherboard. Always on Asus, you're going to have your support... This is going to be right up here. This is where you're going to want to go. And after here, <coughs> I can kind of see what I'm doing if I look over here, but we're going to go into drivers and utilities. Right down here, you see where it says BIOS and firmware. Now, all you have to do right here is choose whatever it is. Uh, basically, if you had, maybe if I had different revisions, it would be uh, right there. And so we can see our latest BIOS is, if I can read it, because I can't read it through there, we have our latest BIOS version is 2305. Now, if you click right here, this is the BIOS revision that we do have. Now, I'm going to show you how to check your own BIOS revision. If you come right down here to the start, by the way, this is Windows 11. You can do it the same way on Windows 10. So if you come here and you uh, do the uh, search, we search for run. Uh, we want to go to run. Now right down in the bottom corner, you'll see I already have it typed in. It's You type in verbatim MS info, so it's M-S-I-N-F-O 32. Click enter. And this is going to bring up this uh, big thing here for you. <coughs> now... Right here, it's going to say BIOS version and date. And right here, we have 2204, and that's the date of our BIOS. If we go back to this other page, we can see we have 2204 down here. This is the revision that we do have. This is the one I want to go to. Now, the, the things within this BIOS, what it corrects is an improved system performance and security, uh, support um, management engine, that's what ME stands for, management engine update functions, improve Aora software experience, and improve DRAM stability. So those are the things you have to... Uh, uh, or those are the things that are listed under uh, the improvements and what comes with the new BIOS version. So over here, you'll see a little button that says download. Go ahead and download it. Normally in Google, it's going to download and it's going to show up down here. If you're in uh, Microsoft Edge, your download is going to be in the upper right-hand corner, just to let you know. Now, as soon as it's done downloading, if I could see my uh, thing, you can exit out of this. You can exit out of this. And now you can come to your folder. You can go to your downloads folder. And we're going to select all these because I don't need them. And this is what you downloaded. If you're doing the same exact one as me, it's going to read the exact same way. We're going to do a right click. We are going to hit extract all. And we're going to extract it to the same location. Now, it just popped up another window. It's the same location. It's as if you pop, popped up another window. Now, you do not need to rename it. It says biosrenamer.exe. <coughs> or, or just BIOS. Excuse me, I got something in my eye. Whew. Okay, it just says BIOS renamer. We do not need to rename it if we are going into the BIOS to update, to update the BIOS. If you were gonna do a BIOS flashback, you have to rename it because that way the system knows exactly um, what to grab. So we're just gonna grab the biggest file, which is right here. And the other thing that you need is one of these guys. This is BIOS under it, right? So uh, this one, I can't see if it, actually focused in on that there we go bios and i have this this is a 2.0 thumb drive this is the other thing that is required of you to have in order to do this this is just a 2.0 this particular one i think is a 16 gig you do want 
you have some parameters that you have to follow. So you want a thumb drive. It can be 2.0 or 3.0 or 3.1 or 3.2. That doesn't matter. What matters is you have to have uh, you have to have the the thumb drive formatted into FAT32. That's the first requirement. And the second requirement, you really need to have it 16 gigabyte stick or smaller. So this drive has to be 16 gigabytes or smaller. I believe this is a 16. If you get a 32, it may and may not work depending on how new your system is and what they put in there on how to read stuff. So the BIOS uh, chip is small. It doesn't read certain things. Um, but those are the things that you have to make sure that you do. Now, if for some reason you stick this in there and it doesn't read it in the BIOS, uh, just go ahead and try another uh, um, USB port on your um, motherboard uh, and you may find that it works. So give it a couple tries, right? <coughs> All right, so we have to stick this into our computer while it's running. And now we're going to get, uh, may pop up with another window here. Okay, so it did. It popped up with BIOS update. That's what I named it, just so I know. We're just going to uh, move this out of the way here. And we're going to take our other window with our BIOS in it. We're going to click on it. And we're just going to drag it over. We're just going to make a copy. And it's going to copy over that file to now our thumb drive. All right, there we go. We can close out of everything. And guess what? We're ready to rock and roll. Now, you could probably leave this in here. Typically, I don't like plugging it into the front of the case when I'm doing a BIOS update. I like to plug it into the back. And um, so that's the way we do it. Now, we have to get into the BIOS. And the way to get into the BIOS, there's a couple different ways. You can go, um, you can go through the, the um, troubleshooting software and do a restart and it'll restart into the BIOS. It's kind of a slower way or you can, uh, but it's more automatic. So if you're not sure what to push on your keyboard to get into the BIOS after you reset the computer, you can actually just do it that way. I do have a video showing that. It's my last video demonstrating on how to get into the BIOS that way. Otherwise, what we're gonna do, there's another way you can like hold down the shift key or something and reset. I don't know, I don't really care. But what we're gonna do, I was about to shut the computer off. Uh, what we're gonna do is actually restart the computer. I if I can see this, it's kind of small. Uh, we're gonna go, now this is Windows at 11, by the way. So we gotta go to restart. Now, <coughs> get your finger ready. And on Asus Modern Motherboards, you're gonna hit the delete key repeatedly. Now, like right now, you don't have to because it's actually restarting. But as soon as you see that that disappear, we are going to uh, hit this delete key repeatedly. And uh, generally speaking, you only need to hit it once at a certain point. But uh, to make sure that we do get into the BIOS, we do want to hit it repeatedly right now. And as soon as it gets into the BIOS, you can stop hitting the key. Should be any second now. Yeah, all my lights went from green to white. And right there is really where you need to start hitting it. Just an FYI. And there we go. All right, so that's all without cutting anything. Just letting you know how it went in. Now I'm going to put this in right now into the back of the machine, if I can see. I'm going to turn this a little bit. Oh, i got to turn it a little bit more. This is the pain part for this. All right, there we go. Now, your second thing that you want to do, you can use your keyboard, your up and down arrows to actually navigate in here. Or in the modern uh, motherboard uh, BIOSes, you can actually use your mouse. So, <coughs> what we want to do is come over to tool where it says tool and we're going to go to asus ez flash 3 utility and 
now what we want to do is find our drive. So I'm looking for, and it should have popped up. I don't know why it didn't, but I'm looking for our drive. Uh, I think this is it right here. See how this is 14, so that's in megabytes. And this is a 16 gig drive, so it should be this one, and there we go. Sometimes it pops up automatically. Uh, if you had it plugged in prior to going the BIOS, it may have popped up automatically. So this is our file that we want. And we're going to highlight it. And this, this just says back up your bit locker. So if you had a bit locker set on your computer, make sure you got that code because you may not get in there. Um, and also says uh, support bit locker encryption in the operating system update. Yeah, okay. So then we're just gonna click yes. Do you really wanna read this file? Uh, yes, we do. And do you really wanna <coughs> update the BIOS? No, nah, I don't want it anymore. Um, yeah, so see the version? It says right there, 2305. So we're going from 2204 to 2305. So yes, that is what we want. Now from here, you see a progress bar down below. This is where you do not want to shut it off. Walk away, get a drink, have some food, talk to your friends, call your mom, do something. Do something other than messing with the computer. Don't move the mouse around. There's no point. I mean, you can move the mouse around, but it's not even gonna do anything. Don't click on anything. Um, this is why I do recommend the PSUs, the uh, power supply units, or the uh, power, yeah, power supply units. It's the backup, system, or backup battery for your computer. Because if the power gets lost during this, there is a very high probability that your motherboard will be bricked. In other words, you would have to send it back in for them to reflash the BIOS uh, and then potentially having an issue not being able to do it. So uh, you can see the progress bar has just started. I'm going to cut here um, or leave it run and then I'll just fast forward through this um, and that way you can see when it gets done, you'll see what it says on there. And it'll be complete and marvelous and we'll have a uh, safer working computer. Hold up a minute. Okay, so I did see some stuff on the screen here just a moment ago, but I wasn't able to get back over here. Uh, I was on the phone. So, uh, okay, do not, yeah, it just says updating BIOS, do not shut down. I don't know exactly what it said before. I'll see what it said in uh, post-production here when I'm editing, um, but maybe I'll put something on the screen or something. But it may have to do with the ME, uh, the management engine or something like that or updating some sort of a Thunderbolt thing. But right now the computer is turning on and off by itself. Let it go through. If you are unsure what it's doing and you think it's just done, think again, give it some time. Walk away or watch it, whatever you wanna do, but don't turn it off until you're absolutely sure this thing either goes back into the BIOS or loads Windows. So. Actually, it probably won't go back in the BIOS or load Windows. I should, I, I need to take that back. It's probably gonna pop up with a bunch of stuff on the screen and it's gonna say like push F1 to enter the BIOS setup. Um, and that's usually what you have to do and then load default settings or load all the settings that you uh, want. Because when you update a BIOS, it's going to, uh, um, it's gonna change all your settings usually. So like if you had any overclocking settings, yeah, see, that's exactly what it is. So it's it's basically push F1. I forget where it says it, uh, right there, right there, right there. So we're gonna push F1. Now it's gonna go back into the BIOS. We're gonna load the optimized defaults, maybe even turn XMP back on. <coughs> and, and then uh, if that's not still on, sometimes that does get left but um, we're just going to uh, see right here. Um, so we're gonna go to the exit. If it clicked on the exit, exit. 
And right there at the top option, you can see load optimize defaults. We're just gonna do that quickly. Quickly. And I can't see because my screen's kind of off. But right down here, it says easy mode. We're gonna go to easy mode. And okay, so our XMP is disabled. I don't have to have it on this computer. Uh, but we're going to enable it anyway. And then we're going to hit F10. Basically, this is just, uh, <clears throat> we're changing some of the uh, frequencies and stuff on the, um, on the memory chip on the CPU and also on the RAM. And uh, we changed and uh, loaded optimized defaults. So, and that's with XMP on. Uh, man, this thing is floating pretty good. All right. So we're gonna do that. It's gonna reset, might reset a couple of times because we're turning XMP back on. Um, but basically that's it. If you didn't want XMP on, I don't think you should put it on unless you really need it. I don't think really anybody needs it, but whatever, I turn it on sometimes. Not on my uh, uh, the Maker build. I, I, I don't turn it on on that, uh, but because this has only got two rams of stick, two rams of stick, two sticks of ram, um, I go ahead and I will enable it. So, not quite sure what it's doing just yet. I don't know, oh, you know what? I probably, wonder why it's not loading here on Windows though. <clears throat> I'm wondering if it changed it back. Let me just look at my inputs here. I don't see that, let's see. Oh, there we go, okay, sorry about that. See, I wasn't following my own rules and being patient. So, I'll let this thing go for a minute. What it's doing right now, I, I, I should know this. What it's doing right now, it's, it's actually training the memory. So uh, my input just dropped on my, so I could see myself. <laughs> um, it's training the memory because we put it in uh, the um, XMP on. So it has to go through a couple of tests to see if it'll post. And once it knows where that is, it'll set those options and set those parameters and then I'll restart and get into Windows as you see right here. So that was a BIOS update and just a little bit more about turning XMP back on because I did have that on. Sometimes a BIOS update will, um, you know, disable a lot of the settings that you had currently. So, or previously, I should say. But uh, yeah, we're back into Windows. That's it. Um, Actually, you know what? We got something funky going on here with the back, the um, the layout, and I need to see if I can fix that. So it's got something funky going on there. Um, I don't know if that's the duplicate or not, but I want to check that out real quick. Ah, my other cable was disconnected, so we should be good now. Let's just see what this looks like. Yeah. Okay, so what it was is my, when I was messing around with the computer, the other cable pulled out and they were supposed to, the screens were supposed to be extended. Um, so, so this screen was supposed to be an extension of that screen and um, just so I could duplicate them. And uh, that was the problem. It was, it was uh, not plugged in all the way. So that's fixed. That's awesome. And uh, hopefully you... Uh, learned how to update a BIOS again. I've got so many of these videos, but I love doing them. I like showing you how to do them and how simple and easy they are. So, um, but anyway, guys, I've got to wrap this one up. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below in the comments. If not, um, uh, give this thing a thumbs up at minimum. <laughs>
just at minimum, give me that support, just a little thumbs up. Uh, what's going to go wrong if you give me a thumbs up, right? And uh, go ahead and share this with your family and friends. And consider subscribing if you have not subscribed yet. And hit that little bell icon next to the subscription button. That way you can get notified for any future videos that I do post. And with all that said, guys, until next time, take care.